William, I must say, you've been making some real money for the first time in your career this past year, and this is the first time we've ever seen you in a coordinated outfit like this. I'm actually, I have some really good news. I'm actually, I got the call from Adidas a couple days ago. I'm sponsored by Adidas wow. now. Wow. Look at that. New sponsorship. Two years, $700,000. Wow, that is incredible. What, what do you have to do for them? Just wear their stuff? Just wear this, and it's been hot as fucking hell here in Austin. It's been a fucking nightmare. That's all they gave you is that tracksuit? No shorts or a t-shirt or anything? This is all I literally got in the mail. I just got this fucking track. It's literally so hot outside. It was, what, 110 yesterday? Yeah, and today. Yeah, very, very hot days. Oh, my God. But it's it is so incredible. Horrible. You're wearing Adidas shoes, Adidas pants, Adidas jacket. I yep. Yep. This is incredible. Why do you think Adidas chose you to be their new spokesman? Normally they go with extremely... Uh, well, it's actually, I don't have to guess. It's because they saw some videos of me playing basketball. I'm really... Uh, really? Yeah, the kind of basketball where you're dribbling real fast and you do the crazy passes. I'm actually really good at... Why is that so fucking funny, dumbass? Oh, shit. <laughs> William is going You haven't in. fucking laughed at anything, and now you're cackling at the idea of me being good at basketball? William, that's hot. He's just jealous. It's really, really hot. Go cool. on. Well, thank you, and nice you're to welcome. see you. Nice to see you. Oh, my Dribble goodness. it. Dribble it just a little bit. Hell, yeah. Well, why are you wearing fake Adidas, though? Why are you wearing fake like Adidas? Your <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up, yeah, dude. dude. No no shoes. That's, those aren't fake Adidas. Yeah, Let's these aren't fake Adidas. This dribbling. I mean, that is incredible. I thought the best dribbler on the show was Jared Nathan. To find out that <coughs> Adidas found a dribbling video of you is absolutely incredible. I know. It's crazy. And they're literally sending me $700,000. It's a two-year $700,000 contract. Yeah, I just pretty much have to wear this and keep on uh, doing the dribbling videos. <laughs> okay. Is this going to be a fucking disaster again tonight? God, you remember last week, the county alderman? Yeah. That was rough. Rough as hell. Luckily, Adidas didn't see that video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a damn good thing they didn't see that video. Right. It really is. It's a damn good it's thing. It's a really good thing. I swear to God, if Adidas saw that fucking video last week, there's no way I would have gotten a two-year $700,000 contract. No way. From Adidas. I mean, literally, there's zero way I'm getting a 200. The episode with your parents came out. You know what, William? Let me see if I have any eggs left. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I might have one or two for you, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Some of those Kirkland signatures. You know what I'm <laughs> Some of those. The best brand out there. Yep. Pretty good. Not as good as Adidas. <laughs> I don't think Kirkland Signature and Adidas are in competition, William. They actually are. I looked at the report yesterday. They're sending me reports. It's actually... Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are back. You are wearing uh, an Adidas tracksuit for the first time ever. Uh, and I, I cannot tell. There seems to be something a little bit different about you. Than, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you have two beards like the girl had two pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually very excited to announce to everybody I am Bosley Hair Club's new spokesperson. <laughs> it's a multi year, $100,000 contract. I'm not only a client, I'm the player president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this uh, operation, it only took me two days. I was literally under the knife for two days for this to happen. But I think it looks pretty realistic, don't you all? <laughs> oh, my uh, goodness. William Montgomery. So what else has been going on in life? This Adidas tracksuit is legit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still, uh, Eric, you don't know this, but I'm actually Adidas' new sponsor as well. It's a multi-year $700,000 contract I signed with Adidas. They saw some of my old basketball videos. They liked what they saw. Uh, so now I'm pretty much a new person. I'm just wearing this. I'm wearing this fucking new Bosley uh, job, and it's hot as shit. It was a horrible mistake. My face... 
I lost my Adidas sponsorship, so I went ahead and got a job. I'm now a sexual preference abbreviation developer. I came up with WG this past week, which stands for Wiener Grabber. So now the proper sexual preference abbreviation list is LGBTWG. Uh, How'd you lose your idea sponsorship? Uh, they brought up some videos of Of you me. doing any of your sets here <laughs> on the show? Yeah, I've always wondered that. If somebody ever wants to cancel my ass, they yeah. don't have to dig very far. No, no, not, they don't need to do that for any of us. Um, <laughs> that is absolutely true. Did y'all know Kmart's closed now? Seriously, did y'all even know Kmart's not even around anymore? Have y'all noticed that? Have you noticed that, Tony? Have you noticed that, Annie? Kmart's not even around anymore. Have y'all even noticed that? Have y'all looked up fucking Kmart on Google recently? Nothing comes up. Kmart's fucking closed, and I had a bunch of fucking stock in Kmart, and now it's worth nothing. That's one of the reasons I got the fucking guns. I was like, this is a sign of the apocalypse. My fucking Kmart stock, I had 200,000 fucking dollars in Kmart stock. It's now worth shit. Does that make you mad? <laughs> yeah, it fucking pisses me off. I literally, my grandfather died. I got 200 fucking thousand dollars. I thought it would be a good idea. Put it all in the stock market. My brother Vance was like, William, put the money in the stock market. I was like, okay, Vance, what do I put it in? He's like, put it in Kmart. And I fucking listened to him. Even though I had done a little research and I knew Kmart wasn't doing good, but my fucking brother was like, just put all the money in Kmart. And I fucking did that. Now it's all, all gone, Tony. That's why I've been trying to get these sponsorships. But actually, uh, I, I got a pair of Chiso's cowboy boots in his will here tonight. The owner of Chiso's cowboy. Are you here tonight? Will? Will, let me be the new spokesperson oh, for Chiso's. That's why I fucking brought you here tonight. I thought wow. I could fucking get corner you. Are those the boots that you got? These are the boots. There's nothing better than Chiso's brand. They actually use uh, <laughs> a very nice calf skin on the boots. And my God, I don't know if you, I've ever felt a harder bottom of a boot before. <laughs> Isn't that what you told me to say, Will? <laughs> I've never experienced a harder bottom of a boot. Wow. Will, what? just think about it, okay, man? Damn. I need this. All my other sponsors are fucking leaving yeah, guns me. In my fucking is there truck really? Tonight. Is that a real thing? Chisos boots? Where's that located? Yeah, they're great here, here in pull Austin, up, pull Texas. Pull up your pant leg. Let's see what these things have. They look like rain boots. <laughs> my fucking legs are purple. Okay. Y'all want is. a pair of Chisos boots? Go to Chisos.com. <laughs> Nothing better. The fucking bottoms of them are like fucking petrified wood. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Will, is that good or not? They're like petrified wood. Wow. Still working on it. Sorry. Sorry, Will. I feel like I've done more harm than good tonight. Where's Chiso Saboots located? Here in Austin. I can't remember the oh, exact very address. Good. So. Very yeah, here good. in what Austin. A, what a great plug, William. <laughs> uh, Will doesn't even want his boot place promoted on this show. I... <laughs> Now I'm looking back at him. He's completely embarrassed. Uh, did he give you a deal on the boots for putting him on the guest list tonight? What type of shit's going on here? He actually didn't, so we're going to have to talk about that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. He gave me a T-shirt and some leather balm, oh. which was very sweet. Oh. Oh. Okay, I feel like this hasn't gone how I was expecting it tonight. I was yeah. thinking those first jokes about my impression of my agent, which I don't even have. I thought those would be hilarious. And I was obviously wrong about that. And now I'm wondering about what's going on up here. And William, one yeah. thing I noticed is that you're wearing a Yoplait t-shirt here tonight. Is there I am. I'm actually really excited to announce to y'all, I got a new sponsor! Wow. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. 
Yo Play Yogurt, it's a seven year, $1.4 million fucking contract. Wow. That's why I even thought about buying the jet ski. I was like, what am I going to do with all this fucking money? I was like, okay, I need to get a jet ski. And then I was like, what am I going to do with this jet ski? And I was like, has it ever been done? Somebody going from the Gulf of Mexico from Lake Austin? It's never been done, people. I don't know why this fucking guy's laughing so hard. You're the only guy laughing. I appreciate it. Why is it so funny to you? Because you made a you you plugged a GoFundMe and then you said how much money you were making from your play. <laughs> <laughs> I sense some impropriety here. Hey. Do they have fruit on the top now? Why did they pick you? <laughs> oh my God, Red Band. I don't really get that. I don't really get that wow. seriously. Oh my goodness. Sorry, man. You look like a, a big gay. gay oh, all right, Red Man. We get the joke. I'm gonna cut you off there. You look like a big gay, big gay, big gay. <laughs> look like a gay, look like a gay. <laughs> so, wow. You can't believe you have a yogurt sponsorship. Hold on, Red Band's the one who's fucking sucked my dick before, so I don't know what the fuck <laughs> you're wow. talking this about me being gay. <laughs> yeah, it's shit on the bottom, fruit on top, I guess. Okay, That's... more yo plate <laughs> jokes from Red Band that are, <laughs> that are not easy to digest, unlike yo plate yogurt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> William, I... did Yoplay fa find out about all this? Oh shit! Yoplay's not a sponsor anymore. Oh wow, that only lasted one week, huh? Yeah, I mean they're just not a sponsor. It was a huge sponsorship. I had fell through. They were mad about me talking about killing people. I've actually lost most of my sponsorships <laughs> because I talk about killing people. Costco, that's gone. Fucking raisin bread, that's gone. Yoplay's gone. WNBA gone, MLB gone, NBA gone, NFL gone, NHL. I had all these fucking contracts, and then I fucking come up here and talk about killing. Joe, it's a mistake. I need to stop doing it. I'm losing, right. doing a fucking grant. It was yeah, I miss it. So and I gotta stay doing, strong. What do you do in place of that when you have those urges? What do you end up doing? Do you remember Play-Doh? Yeah. I've been doing a bunch of Play-Doh stuff recently. I'm thinking uh, maybe they could be a new sponsor. I don't know. I have to play my cards right. I've lost all my fucking sponsors. Are you buying gold with Rosalind Capital? <laughs> <laughs> That's something I just started doing. I've been finding gold with Rosalind Capital. How much money have you invested in gold lately? Well, it's actually, you find it with Rosalind Capital. I got a metal detector. I've been out on the beach the past two weekends. I've found like 50 bucks. Wow. How many hours have you spent on the beach to find 50 bucks? I am sleeping out there. I bring my oh. tent. <laughs> That's a, that's a lot of time. Yeah, there's tons of sand spiders at night. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a sand spider, but they are crawling up and down your fucking tent walls. I'm trying to get a good night's rest. I mean, you literally have to go out early in the morning with your metal detector if you're going to fucking find anything. There's too many people out there with metal detectors. You have to go early in the morning. <laughs> so, William, you brought the gun up here, but you didn't show it to anybody. Uh, what was the plan exactly? Just to intimidate Red Band? Yeah, that was the general plan. I had uh, no plans tonight because I literally have been looking up Rosalind Capital. Oh. Uh, <laughs> looking up buying gold from them. Um, An incredible set. You did it looking good. I love that Cracker Bell shirt. That is fucking Thank classic. Thank you so much. I'm Did, literally... I'm we found out recently that you have an addiction to eBay. Yes, right? I did not get this on eBay. I actually got it at the Cracker Barrel store. I'm here to announce to everybody they have a new special. If you eat there for six days, on the seventh day, you get a free thing of pancakes. That's what I've been doing the past two weeks now. You eat there for six days in a row. You, on the seventh day, you get some pancakes. Seriously, did you really get that from Cracker Barrel? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I go there all the time. How much did you pay for it? 20 bucks. Really? Yeah. What do you think? It would be more it, expensive it looks, or less expensive? It looks vintage. No, this is what they sell now. I helped them design this one. See, the part there at the end leads me to believe that you might be lying. No, I've been a designer for it for two vintage, years. I think that's a vintage Cracker Barrel shirt. I do not believe that you just bought this this weekend. We've seen this before, folks.
Redman, you're fucking up that stupid noise. I'm not blinking that. I'm not winking that much. 